today is an exciting day because I'm, well, I'm finally vlogging, you know, once again. But the sad news is today is going to be the last day we can go sneaker shopping in Toronto, with one small exception, a store we can probably check out tomorrow, but it's it's gonna be the last time we go sneaker shopping, and that's because Toronto is entering another lockdown because of coronavirus. We're gonna try and do one more last mall vlog today and show you guys all the cool sneakers that are currently sitting. I don't know if it's gonna really help you guys, but we're gonna try and upload this video the same day I record it, which on that note, today is a very special day as well. It is Natty's birthday today. So happy birthday to my girlfriend, Natty. She will be actually streaming tonight. So if you guys wanna do me a huge favor and give my girlfriend a birthday gift, then drop into her stream tonight on Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash caffeine underscore and uh, say hi, say happy birthday. We'll be vibing over on there and it's gonna, it's gonna be a good time. So I'll see you guys there tonight. And I just wanna give a huge thank you to everybody who subscribed to my Pokemon channel. We're gonna be doing a giveaway at a thousand subscribers on the Pokemon channel for this. Champions Path Elite Trainer Box and they're about $100 plus. I paid 120 Canadian uh, plus tax for this. Thank you to everyone who has been, you know, active on the Pokemon channel. It's been really fun posting videos on there. So subscribe, it's Sneaker Talk TCG. So right now we're walking down Young Street. We're gonna eventually bump into Tom because I told him we would just uh, meet up on Young somewhere since the subways are closed. And I gotta say, it feels like there's a lot more people, uh, I can take off my mask while I'm just walking. Um, it feels like there's a lot more people outside compared to usual today. It might just be because it's Saturday, but you can kind of tell like, there's just like energy that because everyone knows that the official new lockdown in Toronto happens on Monday at midnight that everyone's doing their uh, last minute shopping for groceries and toilet paper. Can't forget about toilet paper and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, really, really curious how long this next lockdown period is going to be here in Toronto. Let's just do a little stroll down Young Street and uh, we'll probably see his Jordan one looking ass real soon. Hey, hey. hi. Hi. What's up? And as predicted, our Jordan 1 wearing a uh, 7 foot 10 guy is wearing Jordan 2s. Shattered backboard 1.0s. What pair do you guys prefer? Can you even do YouTube polls anymore or did they discontinue them? I don't know, but I see that you broke out some of your nice yeah. shoes for the last time you're going to be outside in the next eight months. Basically, so. yeah. So what do you guys like more? Chicago ones or the uh, shattered backboard ones? The answer is Chicago's. If you don't oh, say it, Chicago's, yes, Chicago's, I'm yes. firing. I thought you were going to say yours for a second. <laughs> Just walked past Champ Sports, so I'll show you guys what sneakers I had inside of there. And uh, right after that, there's something special I want to show you. They're opening up a Jollibee in downtown Toronto, and I am super, super excited about it. The only downside to this Jollibee is that it's not open yet and it's been under construction since like March and by the time it's done I might be moved out of downtown by then so I'm hoping that it at least opens up before like March happens in 2021. We walked past the Jollibee the other day and it looked like there was like employees being trained so it's, uh, it's looking promising. So as I told you guys earlier on YouTube and on Instagram the Jordan store in Toronto officially closed. It's actually converting into a Foot Locker Superstore, which is exciting because we have no Foot Locker Superstores in Canada. It'll be the first of its kind. And apparently it was supposed to open up on December 5th, but because of the lockdown in Toronto, it's probably not gonna happen. On the other side of the street though is the Adidas store. And there's like a lineup of like 30 people to shop inside of the Adidas store. And uh, yeah, I talked with Tom about it earlier. I, I mentioned to you guys how there's a lot more people out and about and it was probably because of the lockdown. Tom agrees. But yeah, let's take a let's take a little photo at Young Dundas, uh, downtown Canada, and then we're gonna hit up the Eden Center and all the sneaker stores in the downtown area. Let's go. We're pulling up to the Toronto Eden Center right behind me, and uh, yeah, let's go inside and see what the best sneakers they have sitting are at the mall for the very last time, probably this year. And then we're gonna hit up Queen Street and maybe buy some Pokemon cards if we're lucky. So we're pulling up to the very first store right now, Champ Sports, and like almost every store has a pretty significant line. It's kind of alarming.
sword and shield one? Yes. You're getting the unicorn one? Okay. Gangster? Yeah. Um, and then you're gonna get that one in the back. Can you pronounce the word? Uh, I can't read it. No, no. I can't in get it. Inteleon. Inteleon. Guys. Great, thank you very much. Thank you. The mall is so packed. It looks like everyone's doing their Christmas shopping. We got some Pokemon cards. We'll unbox it on the Pokemon channel, Sneaker Talk TCG. The next up, we got Nike and Full Locker and Foot Action. And these lineups do not look appealing and at Under all. Armour. And Under Armour. Under Armour. We're definitely not going to Nike. There's nothing in there, and I don't understand Oof. a lot. Well, you know what? We did go to Nike the other day. So we'll show you guys the pickups right now. All right, so we're here at Foot Action. Hopefully you guys enjoyed those Nike store pickups. Uh, they opened us, they opened us, they opened the So we're here at the, uh, the Foot Action store and uh, the employees welcomed us with open arms. So uh, let's have some fun and show you guys what they have here in Foot Action. So Tom, what is your favorite and least favorite sneaker in the Air Max section right here? Okay, favorite shoe, actually this is interesting because we were just at Champ Sports and these were $129.99 at Champ Sports and here they're $99.99. Damn. Um, so we're finding a little bit of arbitrage here. We're gonna buy these here and then sell them to Champ Sport and make, uh, we'll sell them for $115. That seems reasonable and make $15 a pair. And uh, for all the idiots in the comment section, they're gonna be like, that's not how it works. You can't sell to a retail store. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's probably my favorite pair of shoes though here. Favorite, uh, okay, least Airbag. favorite. These, they just look like they're spray painted. That's the only reason. I don't have anything against gold shoes per se, they just look like they're spray painted. Yeah, I, I can't really do these. And Air Forces? Uh, uh -huh. It's sort of a no-brainer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oop. Whoa. Why do I always drop shoes? So besides that, I want to get your th opinions on these Wheat Air Force Ones. They do them every single year. The low tops particularly, they don't really do the mids anymore. What do you think about the Wheat Air Force One? I much prefer a pair of dead-ass Tim's B. Spoken like a real New York man. So that was a little trip inside of the Eden Center. Next up, we're heading down Queen Street West to go to a couple more sneaker stores. And then uh, Dolly's, they have a new location. I used to do like weekly trading card tournaments at Dolly's in the Scarborough location. So they have one downtown. I've been meaning to check it out. And I mean, now is the best time because they're probably gonna not be open for like in-store viewings uh, come Monday. So yeah, let's, uh, let's have some more fun and scroll down Queen Street. Right. That clip I just showed you guys, there's actually a, a homeless man starting a fire in front of that building. Yeah, I, it's probably some political protest against City Hall or something, because that's City Hall. It's weird. The old City Hall, and I think that's the new City Hall. I probably know more about this thing Christian does, because I live like down the block and I look at these two buildings every single day, but you can hear the sirens. They're coming to put up this homeless man's fire. Next up, we're gonna stop by ODTO. It's known as that famous store that had the Kawhi mural on the front of it. Right behind us, it's probably one of the most expensive uh, sneaker streetwear stores in Toronto, but they have like the biggest selection. So let's go inside Question. and vlog. Yeah, what's up? Do they still have the Ferrari in there? They might have a fancy car in there, so maybe. They might have the Ferrari La Lamborghini Mustang, you know? Ooh. Maybe.
año? That's our time at the Adidas store on Queen. I gotta say, they have the friendliest, the friendliest employees, and also some of the most knowledgeable employees too. Like they really know their stuff when it comes to sneakers, and they're like real sneakerheads. Oh uh, but yeah, we managed to pick up a pair, which we'll show you guys in an upcoming video or maybe in a little bit at the crib. But we got a couple more stores left to go to, so let's get moving. So that was a look at livestock. Now we have one more pit stop to get to before we get back to the crib and that is Dolly's. Brand new location, never been. And again, I told you guys earlier, I used to go do card tournaments weekly at the Dolly's by my house. So this is the first time I'm going to the new location and I actually didn't know they had a new location till last week. So again, if you guys wanna see my Pokemon stuff, cause I bought some awesome Pokemon cards today, check out my Pokemon channel, Sneaker Talk TCG. First time here in this mall in a long time, and I completely forgot that rerun moved. They were one of the few uh, streetwear hype beast sneaker stores in the area. I don't even know where they moved to, to be honest. But uh, yeah, we're, we're looking. We're looking for the card store. The mall's so dead. Like it's so, uh, there's like no life in it. Like compared to Eden Center where it was full of people. Like there were so many people, it was so packed in the Eden Center. Like half the lights are off here and there's like almost no one here. So we're trying to find Dolly's. Maybe we can find it any second now and then grab some Krispy Kreme. So we made it, we're here, but they're closed. They closed uh, earlier today because of COVID. And by earlier today, Christian means they closed uh, six minutes ago. Yeah, they closed six minutes ago. We could have got here, honestly, if we just walked a bit faster yeah, or we knew where it was. Nice. But I guess uh, I guess we're gonna have to go home or no. Where are we going, Tom? I don't know, where are we going? Krispy Kreme. Oh yeah, we're getting donuts. Yeah. I completely forgot. Oh Let's my goodness, get it. my mood is just instantly lifted. <laughs> the last time, no. You said the last time you had Krispy Kreme donuts was... Uh, They're like closer was, to two years ago. Yeah, two years ago in Toronto. What? However, did we have it in the Philippines? Oh yeah, but yeah. that didn't count because that was like not real donuts. That was like It was real donuts. donuts. That was like art donuts. Like artsy fartsy donuts, but still, it was still Krispy Kreme. Yeah, but not really. Krispy Kreme is just the plain. Oh, you want the basic? Just, just the plain. Well, they donut. had that too, but you went to get every. No, Halloween. that's what I'm saying, right? But it's like you can't say you drive. I don't know what parallel I'm trying to make here, but the Krispy Kreme donuts that I know and love are just the plain ones. Let's get some donuts. Babe. I got donuts. 